A firm with a constant marginal cost of $4 sells to identical consumers that all have total willingness to pay given by total value equals 16Q minus 0.25Q cubed. The consumer's individual inverse demand functions are blank, so we need to solve for the individual inverse demand functions. Well, the total value function tells us all of the area under the curve. And when we take the derivative of the total value function, we get simply the curve, which is the inverse demand function. So taking the derivative of total value here, we find price to be equal to 16 minus 0.75 Q squared. The next question says, if the firm uses two-part pricing and maximizes profit, the fixed fee is blank. Well, remember, when, with linear demand, we are simply finding the area of a triangle, this yellow triangle shown below. And how we would do that is we would find where the inverse demand intersects the y-axis, that would be one point. Four, the marginal cost intersecting the y-axis would be another point. And where the marginal cost intersected the inverse demand, that would be Q star units, that would be our third point. We would use one half base times height and we'd solve for the area of that triangle. Well, we're going to use the same logic, but now we have a nonlinear demand function, so we have to use a slightly different approach. We know that we still want to produce at Q star units, shown below here in the graph. How do we solve for Q star units? It's still where that inverse demand curve intersects the marginal cost curve. So we can find Q star by setting these two lines equal to each other. One line is inverse demand, P equals 16 minus 0.75 Q squared, and one line is marginal cost which is equal to P equals four, or MC equals four. So we can plug in four for price and solve where these two lines intersect. Subtracting four from each side and adding 0.75Q squared to each side, and now dividing through by 0.75, taking the square root, we see that Q equals four. So now that we know that we wanna produce at four units, we can solve for the fixed fee by finding the total value at four units and subtracting the total cost at four units. Well, remember, total value was 16Q minus 0.25Q cubed. And total cost is just marginal cost times quantity. We're not given any fixed cost, so we don't have to worry about that in this question. Graphically, let's show you what we're doing. We're still going to find that area of the triangle, except for it's not going to be a triangle. When we find total value at four units, we find the area of this green shape. When we find total cost at four units and we're subtracting it, we're subtracting away the area of this blue rectangle. What's that, what that's going to do when we plug in four and we start solving is we see that's going to leave us with this red area, which is our fixed fee. And in this case, it's $32.